What's up, everybody? Welcome to Coco, Florida. Coco, Florida. We're gonna enter a homeless camp. There's a lot of homeless camps here. Um, homeless people showing over here. Hey, can I get to the lake back to there? Does that trail go back to the lake? El trillo, el trillo va para el lago. El trillo ese para allá va hacia el lago, to the lake. The other way? All right. Oh, that's the one that goes back between the lakes? All right, bro, appreciate it, man. Welcome to Coco, Florida. We're entering yet another homeless camp in Florida. Every city in Florida that we go to, nothing but homeless camps. It's really sad the stuff you see out here, but this is gonna be a really big camp. You can see there's tents all through here. I'm gonna move quite fast because I'm gonna suspect there's gonna be a lot of people just in here and I don't wanna... Already, right off the bat, there's a lot of garbage. So, as you can see, there's all types of garbage here. And this is not people littering. Yes, people do come back here to dump, but for the most part, this is a homeless camp. That's why there's so much food. Look how many Slurpees have been drank back here. So clearly this is all homeless camps and there's homeless camps in that direction. We're gonna keep moving towards the back. And many times uh, when we're out here, it is just completely, anything can happen. I mean, we're finding these homeless camps using the registry for offenders, which means there's definitely criminals here. Uh, bad people so but we'll move through fairly quickly a lot of these camps can sometimes be booby trapped so you have to be very careful how you move through here since a lot of times there's a lot of other illegal activities going on in these homeless camps you can see here there's just had some mattresses laid up these are all abandoned camps but even if they look abandoned a lot of times you know you get one or two rain showers and it ruins your camp if it's not covered so as well you know we got the whole thing with the malaria this is possibly somebody's improvised bathroom. But this is a breeding ground for mosquitoes as well. So people have been pulling trucks in here and dumping, but then there's also signs that you can clear tell are from a homeless camp. I'm gonna move through it fairly quickly just so you guys can see what it's about. But I'm not really gonna devote too much time in the homeless camp. This is clearly somebody who did some lump dumping and littering. Obviously you can tell uh, it's just somebody dumping and littering. But there are people in here. We're going to see if we can run into any of them. Coming through, coming through. Just coming through. Anybody out here? But uh, this kind of reminds me of the camps we've seen over there in Pasco County. Um, right on a beautiful lake, as usual. And uh, the fact that there's a lake here with a beautiful view actually quite literally is what makes this place attractive to the homeless people is the fact that there's water right here but this is definitely a uh, camp where those people are living and the amount of garbage back in there is huge there's a lot of garbage back in there and they are surveying all of this so this homeless camp very likely will not be here for long let's just have to move deeper and deeper into the woods and obviously the people that have to come in here and clean this homeless camp is going to cost them thousands of dollars um but you have homeless camps here and you also have dumping so this is just a complete mess there's a lot of mattresses other people drop clothing and other things that homeless people can use but over time it just becomes a nightmare you can see the piles of rubble here are huge by the amount of sodas and stuff you can tell all from that circle k to the left um gives you an indication that there's a lot of people here. Thou maybe hundreds, if not thousands of people move through this particular camp. But as you can see, it creates scenarios like this where now you just have a crap load of garbage. And in this garbage, you might need some heavy equipment to move it. There's gonna be uh, needles. This is a biohazard waste site. This isn't like you can just come in here by hand and start moving this stuff. This is kind of like a biohazard site, really. How many thousands of Slurpees uh, this, these people have drank? <laughs> Just thousands of Slurpees. I've never seen anything like this. And as always, a lot of the homeless people 
are going to engage in what's known as huffing. So you always find spray paint cans in these woods, which is kind of like a poison, but people are willing to do this themselves to get a high. This site is kind of a well, never ending jungle of garbage and Slurpees. I think a lot of times when I approach sites like this, they hear you coming and they flee if they don't know you because um, I do feel like there should be more people in here, but I don't see anybody at all. Covered in mosquitoes as usual. You can see there's some vinyl discs. So there's definitely been some dumping out here, but on top of the dumping, you clearly have homeless camps as well. And there's always somebody that comes in the comment section to argue that, no, it's all dumping. No, these are homeless camps. You'll find more than one sign that these are homeless camps out here and there's people living here. There's always that one person in the comment section saying, it's not a homeless camp. And uh, Cocoa, Florida, where we are now, is actually a really dangerous city. The city has uh, one of the highest murder rates in Florida, one of the highest crime rates. So we're not really in a... Sorry, guys, I got Katie calling me and texting me and making sure I'm okay. Uh, this is where they're burning their garbage so you can see they're trying to get rid of the garbage but it's useless a lot of this stuff just simply doesn't burn the way you'd want to you can see signs of homelessness sleeping mats you can see suitcases um clearly at this spot this spot here somebody uh tried to bury something and you can actually see it's pretty big it's like they, you can tell there was a hole here pretty much a lot of times they'll dig an actual giant hole and then so you can see it's like how the, how the ground's caving in in a lot of places because they've actually um, tried burying so much stuff. But the question always arises, what's really buried inside of these homeless camps? Let your imagination run wild on what could be at the bottom of this fire pit. I mean, anything could be down there, really. Um, so you never quite really know what you're going to run into in these homeless camps. You could run into anything, you know. You just never know what you're going to run into. And it just continues, guys. Um, it continues on and on and on. This is a massive, massive homeless camp. This one is uh, possibly as big as some of the ones we've seen in Pasco County. Um, I didn't think this site would be so big because there was only one registered offender living out here, but you can look around and you can see this homeless camp in its entirety is pretty big. But this homeless camp is quite literally just massive. And the fact that it's being surveyed would only suggest, you can see a makeshift camp over here as well. It is the daytime. A lot of times they have to, you know, this time of day, nobody's really out here because there's too many mosquitoes and stuff and people are just rather not be in here. But here's a little makeshift camp mattress and a little roof they try to put up. But uh, what's crazy is just how massive this site is. More survey markers suggesting that this site is going to get demolished. I think because of the surveying, most of the homeless people have probably cleared in the other areas. Um, it's very likely very very likely that most of the homeless people have ran away from this site because of the surveying they think they're going to knock it down and they don't want to get arrested for trespassing so definitely possible that the reason this this site is desolate is because they're surveying it to build maybe a community here but the people that buy those new houses are they aware that their new house was built over well quite literally what was once massive homeless camps um it's kind of crazy the stuff you see in here this giant bean bag for example and guys we are absolutely swarming in mosquitoes right now the heating and humidity in this place is totally unbearable it's so hot this is horrible but most likely they got their warning that if they're caught in here they're going to get arrested for trespassing so they've left and they've left behind quite the collection of garbage. This stuff called huffing is horrible. It just destroys your brain cells, but they actually do this. It's literally like a 
little living room scenario they had going on here is now abandoned. And the smell of all this stuff wet is just unbearable. I find it very interesting. <coughs> Sorry, there's mosquitoes all over me. Very interesting that we find this here. It says Border Patrol, and it's it's interesting that most of the homeless people that I meet, um, they kind of have this type of, uh, you know, most of the homeless people that I meet are very anti-immigrant because the immigrants make them look bad, quite frankly. But uh, I'm going to say this Border Patrol hat has to be one of the most interesting things I've ever seen in a homeless camp. That is definitely hilarious. I mean, were they snorkeling in that lake full of alligators? The array of things that you find in these homeless camps is interesting because you really do find some absolutely weird and random things in these homeless camps. I mean, you find stuff that you're just like, why would you have that in a homeless camp? You know what I mean? The mosquitoes out here are completely unbearable and with reason, being that you literally have stuff like this. I mean, this is quite literally a breeding ground for mosquitoes. I mean... They are just swarming everywhere. Sometimes too, as you're entering these homeless camps, they'll have a call. You'll hear somebody screaming a signal, letting people in the back know to, to run away. Because many times people in these homeless camps will have warrants and stuff. So the people in the front are the less offenders, you know, people with less problems. But they have like a call, you know, and if there's somebody further back into the camp, it's always exciting to run into people, but so far, nobody here. And I'm going to guess um, we may not run into anybody at this camp. I think with the surveying, uh, most of these people have decided to just outright leave the camp. But the further into these camps you go, the more hostile the people get that are in them. You know, the ones that are kind of like up front are just kind of like, but uh, once you get back in here, it changes the whole... All right guys, so we can assume that for the most part, with the surveying, most of the homeless people are gone. This is what the garbage cans in Florida used to look like back in the day. And you can see it's got the, the Brevard County logo. Eventually these things are gonna be collectible. I think eventually these uh, old school garbage containers like this are gonna be collectible in Florida. That one still has the Brevard County logo on it. People always ask me, uh, aren't the people afraid to get eaten by the alligators? Now, if you're from Florida, you're already laughing because you know the right answer is, aren't the alligators afraid of the people? Because alligators are edible. They have a lot of meat. They taste very good. And they're fairly easy to catch, which would suggest that if somebody were trying to uh, do some substance living that an alligator would actually be a perfect meal. The bigger, the better, I guess. In fact, there's even an alligator hunting season in Florida. But I find it interesting that people from other states don't realize that if a boa or a python or an alligator were to get caught in these woods, that it wouldn't be the people that are in trouble, it would be the alligator, which most certainly, and I mean absolutely most certainly, would be eaten by the people in these camps. If a python or an alligator were out here in these canals or whatever, the people that live in these homeless camps would eat both of them in a heartbeat. These people that say that just don't understand quite literally how difficult life is in these camps. I'm gonna hope that maybe in that direction there's still a few camps that are inhabited. Let's see if I can get to them. Look at my shirt. And all I'm doing is walking. It's hot out here. This is, uh, again, you look through this stuff, you can clearly see this is the homeless camp. The type of things that are here denote nothing other than a homeless camp. How somebody could argue with me that is kind of retarded. Snake right there, guys. Look at the snake going that way. Black racer. That one's harmless. Just look at the amount, oh my gosh. Guys, this is insane. 
And again, I'm covered with <coughs> mosquitoes. Can't even talk, they're going in my mouth. This is bad. Look at how much garbage there is here. Breeding ground for mosquitoes. The amount of suitcases at this camp only denotes the hundreds of people that have had to end up here over the years. I've never seen so many suitcases at a Florida homeless camp. You think about the hundreds of people that ended up here over the years. It's and the insane. size of this camp is massive. And then people would say, well, it's just littering, but no, it's not just dumping and littering. Guys, it's the same things over and over again. Look, look guys, somebody had drugs in here. There's no doubt about that. Somebody had drugs in here. There's no doubt about that. You know what was in here? You know what was in here? Look, it's just everywhere you look are the signs of addiction. And you know, that stuff, everywhere, just this whole thing is just littered with the signs of addiction. And again, it's just like everything here has to do with homelessness. Every article, every single article here, you can see another suitcase over there. It's like every single article here is undoubtedly related to homelessness. Yeah, sleeping mats. All this is just from homeless. Laundry baskets. Jars and containers where people were keeping narcotics. Jars and containers where people were keeping narcotics. Everywhere. Everything in this homeless camp here. Every single article here denotes one single thing. That over the years, hundreds of people have ended up in this homeless camp. And a lot of them, well, they were unfortunately using a lot of illegal substances. Like that's a paint can, for example. That's somebody who got rid of paint right there. How somebody could survive in a place like this, I have no idea. I would die in a week out here. Just the amount of filth, the heat, the humidity, the mosquitoes. Um, I, I don't know how people are able to manage living here. When we first started doing these videos, you might have thought it was just a few homeless camps in Pasco County in Florida. But I'm starting to realize that every single city in Florida has these massive homeless encampments. And, well, hidden out of sight, a complete disaster in the making. This particular camp here, you can tell it won't be around for too long as they're working on demolishing it. And with the new markers for the surveyors, most people have already left. But... You can tell that here in the front, perhaps somebody's still here. And well, this is the entrance to the camp again. Hey guys, that's the video for today. This camp just got abandoned because they are in the process of turning this into a beautiful gated community. And it's the protected animals of Florida and the wildlife that are stuck living in this disgusting mess. What a shame. There's another snake over here. So I guess uh, all the construction scaring all the snakes away. You can see it's just snakes everywhere. Mosquitoes just ate me up. Look at this guys. And while I'm in here in these homeless camps, Katie's in the car listening to Cuban music. Yeah, old Cuban music. <laughs> yeah, she's over here listening like, I'll buy a band mi carreta while I'm in the woods. Mm -hmm. 95 South, let's keep moving. So while I'm in the homeless camp, Katie's parked in front of the gas station. An undercover cop came and started giving her hard looks because my car's got rims or whatever. But this just goes to show what part of the problem in these counties is the law enforcement itself how they profile people because of how they look like they see my car with rims so they you know like they didn't like bother her but they were just giving her hard looks undercover cops pulled up and were giving my wife hard looks but it just goes to show that when you have police that's kind of you know doing policing the same way they did 20 30 years ago i think brevard county um this whole east coast of florida from St. Augustine all the way down to like um, as far south as like Fort Pierce. They need to just fire their entire police force and just put new people in there. They're trying to police the way you did 20 years ago and that doesn't work today, you know. 
here you have a community that's covered with homelessness, addiction, high crime rates, and then they see a car like ours with rims, and they think we're the problem, so they profile people like us in a vehicle because it has rims, but at the same time, the real problems are being overlooked. Bad, bad situation here in Florida East Coast.